Hey everybody, this is uh, a gear review. A gear, what do we call this? Gear review gear roundup. roundup. Yeah, that was not cool. Let's try it again. Gear, gear review, review roundup. roundup. So cheesy. <laughs> uh, this is the part of the show where I show you, I show Danae gear that I've either purchased or people have sent me and she can't get mad because she's on film. <laughs> I've been duped. <laughs> so we're gonna show you some stuff. Uh, we like stuff. So this is stuff again. Some of it I've purchased and I'm just excited to talk about. It'll kind of be initial impressions really quick. But some of it people have sent us. And we all, you know, people offer to send us stuff. We usually say no in most cases because it's stuff we wouldn't use. But if it is something we would use and they want to send it to us, we'll say, okay, uh, we'll put them in these videos. But um, we're going to be honest about what we think about it. And, uh, Sometimes, occasionally, if we really like a piece of gear, we'll do like a full in-depth review later. Um, but this is just kind of initial impressions. So, with that in mind, Danae, you ready to see some of the <laughs> some of the stuff I got? Yeah. Uh, the, well, the first thing is actually not. Oh yeah, I need to turn this on. Thanks for reminding me. Sorry, I totally forgot. So the first item is actually it's not a it's not a piece of gear. This is it's from a a friend. This is from our friend Shane Balkovich, mm -hmm. who is, oh, he's so awesome, you guys. You need to follow his, mm. he just, I think he hasn't had a channel very long, um, but mostly it's not his channel you need to follow, it's his, it's his imagery. Um, this guy does Palladium, uh, Ambrotypes. Oh look, there's his business card. And cool. he sent us this stuff, he knows I'm interested in Collodion, and I've asked him some questions, and so he. Oh, I need to be soft with this. Here mm -hmm. you have a better, a more delicate. Do it over here though, so mm -hmm. you can see a more delicate touch than me. Ooh. Ooh, cool. That's, That's beautiful. beautiful. He does this series. Uh, looks like the he does this looks series like with there. Native Americas in in North Dakota. And creating awareness for their oh, that's situation. It's so beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh my goodness. These are definitely treasures. So awesome. Thank you. Is there something else in there? You get some frames. Whoa. Oh wow. Oh wow. And I love this self portrait. Nobody's got yeah. a self portrait as good as Shane, in my opinion. Wow. Uh, someday, someday, Shane, I'll make my own. <laughs> That's gorgeous. But it is great. So, um, Shane has, uh, this is actually the poster to his documentary video coming oh, cool. out. So, yeah, be aware, uh, be aware of, of that. We'll actually, I'm sure we'll say something about it when it comes out. So, mm -hmm. thank you, Shane. Yeah, thank you. All right, next up, we have this. So the next piece of gear <laughs> is one I, I, I didn't, maybe I, I might, may or may not have told Danae about before I got it. We asked for <laughs> forgiveness rather than permission. <laughs> but I have been waiting a long time for this. Um, and uh, the reason is, is because there is absolutely no better hybrid device on the market for amazing, incredible video, but also the um, really great photography and the ability to switch back and forth quickly and just not compromise in either situation. So I've been playing with this. I'm excited to play with it more. I'll definitely be doing more reviews on it. I almost dropped it. That would have put an end to our... How's it weight-wise? <laughs> so heavy? Well, here. It's you, so heavy. You take a... Yeah, that's way heavier than yeah. we're used to. Oh, I think I would last two seconds with that. The bummer thing about it is a lot of people, th you know, thought this would be their their vlogging camera, right? But um, I mean, well, the lens is a lot of it, right? This is the this is the twenty four to one hundred five. Yes, twenty four to one hundred five, and this is actually an incredible lens because it's uh, not only is it has the the flexibility of a, of a typical um, uh, uh, twenty four to one hundred five, but it's also macro. Mm. You can get so close, and I'm not sure the. The ratio, if it's, it doesn't say here, if it's one to one or one to two, I wanna say it's one to two um, with the, uh, but I mean, it's pretty amazing uh, that you can, you can, it's so versatile, but it's too big, right? You couldn't really vlog with this guy. If you held it by the lens, I think it might work, but you would get tired awful fast, but that flip screen makes it, it really nice. Anyway, yeah. Um, 
6K <laughs> if you needed it, though uh, only compressed, so anamor anamorphic. A lot of people talk about it for its 6K. That is not why we bought it. I don't think, I don't think we'll ever put it in 6K mode. Um, but one one key feature that it has, this is what I'm really excited to play with for event. I do a lot of event work, um, and I I do a lot of event event photography work, but I want to do more event videography hybrid. I want to switch back and forth. This device is absolutely built for that. But, but one thing it has, a feature that it has, is the 6K or 4K photo mode. And what that does is, there's several different versions of it, but the one I'm most interested in, you can push the shutter down, hold it down, and it will take 6K footage, um, which will be ready to export a JPEG, a 6K JPEG, out of. So you can pull a JPEG out of that little snippet. With event photography, it's all just quick little bursts. Nothing is, unless you're covering the event, which I don't do, like recording the whole talk, I'm just doing little highlights, right, for the highlight reel. And so um, if you're already doing that, if you can pull steals out, still photos out of those highlight reels in high quality, that would be a game changer for event photographers, wedding photographers, dare I say street photographers. Um, the only problem is you have to bring your shutter speed up really high in vis-a-vis um, uh, -vis the, the frame rate, which isn't ideal, right? You don't get that nice cinematic blur. So I have to play with that and find the sweet spot. But if you could ride that, maybe if you shot in, although this can't do 6K in 60P, you'd have to do 30P. I'm talking a lot of specs. You're like, great, I don't care. <laughs> anyway, more videos to come on that. Um, as you can tell, I'm, I'm a little bit excited. <laughs> okay. All right, so this is another camera today that I forgot that I'd ordered, hmm. honestly, <laughs> a long time ago. I ordered for someone in Japan and uh, for a really good deal, um, and I forgot about it. Um, and then it came uh, just a couple days ago. But it's an X-T1, but the reason why it's cool is not because it's an X-T1, which why? I've actually never shot why on Why did we need it? because of what it's not what it has today it's what it doesn't have what does it not have it doesn't have the ir uv filter okay so every almost every modern I sensor i feel like you shouldn't be holding it like sorry that. yeah i'll get dust on the sensor but i want the people up here to see the sensor mm. see oh let's get the reflection on it the sensor looks it's not going to have the greenness um mm. that a lot of sensors do it's a layer that um it's the ir uv mm -hmm. um I forget what the, the proper term, but it filters out the um, the band. Is of, this the box that was munched? Yeah, but don't worry, the camera's okay. Yeah, the box came like all beat up. Like half of it had been obviously dropped on the corner right. really bad. Everything's everything's functional, I've verified. <laughs> but I have it equipped with a Nikon, an old um, Nikkor lens that is also not, does not have any coating, mm -hmm. UV or IR coating and so mm. what that gets is it'll capture the full spectrum mm. all the all of the bands that the human eye cannot see mm. so the reason i like that is because like shane i showed you this before these old cameras um show uv when uv lights cast on them so you get freckles deeper freckles deeper skin imperfections than you normally yeah. get and i find it so beautiful so what i've ordered and will eventually come is a filter that will will keep the IR out, the infrared, and will mm. only have UV and do black and white portraiture. Interesting. And I'm so excited to play with that because it'll just, I, I just think it's beautiful. So anyway, long story short, that's mm. why, that's why I've got this. <laughs> and it'll be fun to play with. You know, a lot of times I end up, I buy gear and then sell it again, not very long after, just because I like to play with toys. And so it's almost like renting, long-term renting. All right. That may happen with this. Um, but we'll see. We'll see if it. So we skipped hope. this XT1. We went straight to the XT2. Well, yeah, correct. Because when we switched from Canon to Fuji, the XT2 is already out. That's in fact that's why I switched. The XT2 came out, and I was like, "That's it. That's the camera we need." Never looked back. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Any other questions? No. Are you excited about this? I. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're in pain. <laughs> no comment. Uh, all right. Uh, next up we have, you want to grab something? Yeah. This is the lab box. Yeah. Many people know about this. Here, I'll get the box out too. 
some cool like packaging because I think the packaging is pretty nice. Let me put it right, right over here. The lab box is a new, well, it's not new, it's not a new concept. It's, old, it's an old concept that um, to allow you to develop film in a controlled environment like this, what you do is you load the film up. I'm not gonna do a full demo, but you load the film up here so you don't have to use like a black, that black bag you see me use all the time to develop. Right. Don't need to use that. You can put the film in here and roll it into the chamber. And then you pour your chemicals in, pour your chemicals in here. Mm. And then you use this little guy to agitate the film, to mix it all up. So it's really cool. I've actually, so I got it not knowing if this would replace my normal development process. And it absolutely has. Like I have, when I need to go develop a roll of film, there's no question. I'm going to grab this. I'm not going to grab my Patterson tank. And uh, it's saved time, except that it doesn't. And here's my biggest problem with it. You can only develop one roll of film. Um, so lab box, I'm sure will eventually make the ability to do two, I hope. And when they do, I'll be all over that. Um, but yeah, but it's really great. I like this, I recommend this for all beginner photographers who are learning to develop. This is excellent. It's a great product. Three things that you need to know. I'm not gonna do a full review on this, so this is all you get. Three things you need to know. One, you have to agitate more than you normally would. Otherwise, mm. your film won't look very good, especially depending on the film, depending on the developer. You might need to agitate twice as much as you normally do. And, and that's not very fun with this. So I recommend getting the one that's a little more of a crank, a hand crank. I don't even know why they send it with this, because this is just, it's not fun to use. Two, um, it's not, it doesn't, the, the developer doesn't flow in fast enough. Like I want to get my developer in fast and so I can start agitating get everything going. But I have to pour slowly or it overflows. It's very hard to not overflow. That's frustrating. They could have made that deeper. Yeah, deeper, steeper. Mm -hmm. I think that's what they need to do for the next round. Um, was there a third? I, I feel like there was a third thing, but I'm forgetting what it was. Um, if I remember, I'll put it in like captions here, <laughs> but I love it. I, this is awesome. Well done, Lab Box. I know it's not a new concept. There, there have been others that have done this, but I think they've innovated on the concept and they've done a good job. Yeah. It's awesome. Hey, you guys, I like gimbals and Feutech. I've reviewed their gimbals before. Um, I'm not gonna lie, the last Feutech gimbal was, uh, struggled for me, um, but I've given them another chance. They've sent me, what, is this cool? You like to feel that, <laughs> that logo? <laughs> they, they sent me this a month ago and I feel bad. I haven't had a chance. I've, we've just been so busy. And I have not had a chance to pull this guy out, and I haven't even unboxed it. So let's do that. Wow, this is like it's so exciting. This packaging. Yeah, they do a good job of presentation, huh? So it's like pretty. You Whoa. feel like you're getting ready for a mission, right? To infiltrate some sort of yikes. <laughs> So the reason this excites me, Danae, more than our old one, uh -huh. well, there's several reasons, but wow, that's, that's nice. <sighs> I'm really excited about that, is these locking mechanisms. Oh. So you can lock this in place. Mm -hmm. The other one just kind of flopped oh, all around. I hated that yeah, part. Yeah, I remember. Mm -hmm. So you can lock it in place. Yeah. Jeez. This is the AK4500. What's that plug for? Um, Charge it up? I think. That might be a plug to charge your camera because I know you can charge your camera with this. What? But the, re the other reason this is really rad is that you can charge, um, I'm sorry, you can, you can use this accessory. Let's yank it out. Let's pull it out and look at it. This is a, the one thing that I've always had a hard time with my events is focus. To, to focus while you're working the gimbal, they call it uh, flying, flying the gimbal. So this gives you the ability to focus remotely. Hmm. This is a focus mechanism. What? Yeah. And I under, as I understand it, you can also hold it. How does that work? I'm, I'm really gonna butcher, you know, I'm not gonna give this an adequate review right now. And this, mm. this is sort of complicated all put together. But mm -hmm. you, can, you can focus while you're carrying the gimbal just by turning the little dial. What? This dial, I guess. There's a both, I'm not sure. Yeah. So, 
I don't really know what to say about this yet because I haven't had time to play <laughs> with it. We just opened it. Yeah. <laughs> it looks really cool. It's an unboxing. This is not a review. But it, man, it looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we oh. will do... Oh, and look. Man, you can extend this pretty far. Anyway. So we'll do a proper review on this and play with it at some time in the future, <laughs> hopefully soon. Hopefully before they come out with a new model. Hey guys, we interrupt this program to remind you of the photo contest we're currently running from now until December 10th called Do Good With Your Camera. If you've got some photography talent and a bunch of gear and don't know what to point it at, please consider doing some good with it. And while you're at it, enter to win some really incredible prizes. Like this Fuji X-T100, which you can win by tweeting, Facebooking, or Instagramming the URL dogoodwithyourcamera.com and hashtag dogoodwithyourcamera. If you want to go ahead and do that, you'll automatically be entered. But if you really want to go out and do some good, consider using your talents to serve others directly or capture service being rendered and then enter to win some incredible prizes. If that sounds interesting to you, you can watch the video that we've linked to above or in the description for more info. And now back to your regularly scheduled Boring Andrew. What's next, Lay? Two things. These go together. Oh, these go together. So they, I didn't know they were going to do this, but... They sent me the, this is M. Coplis? Macoplis. Reminds me of Metropolis. Macoplis. Macoplis. Oh, wow, it's teeny. Look at this cute little thing. Are you kidding me? Like, instead of a flash, a yeah, continuous it's a little, light? It's a little LED light, yeah. What? Whoa, that's bright. That is bright. That is awesome. Cool. That is so cool. And it looks like they've got some gels they ship with it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you gotta take this one off. I, I'm like, I don't want to show my hands because they're kind of gross right now. I don't really want to break it. I'm nervous. Oh, and that's awesome. These are like cell phone mounts, but I think like, it looks kind of like your cell phone mount that you can mount to a tripod. You could also mount it to to that oh guy. God. Yeah, this is not coming off very easily. Yeah, I'm. I don't want to break it either, but. The good news is it's not going anywhere once you get it on there. There it oh. goes. No, nope, didn't break. Just was stiff. Yikes. Let's try it with the guys. Maybe ease up on the tension. Macopolis for your next version. Oh, that went on easy though. So maybe it was just, it was just sticky. The initial. Yeah, that was why. Is the white just stiffer? So. Yeah, the white, the white one is stiffer. So then oh, we got blue. Cool. Here, like look towards the camera. Let's see what we can kind of do for your face. Look towards the camera this way. Like look at the camera. We'll get you some blue rim some lighting. Blue backlight. <laughs> How's mm. that look, everyone? Wow, amazing. <laughs> so then they, I didn't know they were gonna do this, but they sent me a grip for the XT20, but I do not have an XT20. So oh. maybe we'll give this away. Yeah. Should we do that? Absolutely. You guys, whoever's still here. And who has an XT20. Because this is a long video. <laughs> whoever's hanging with us still. Uh, and has an XT20. Should we, who should we give it to? The first one who comments that the, has an XT20? Yeah. They have to, oh, I know. I know, no, no, this is what we'll do. They have to Instagram a photo of them with their XT20 and, and tag so, us. Take me, please. Yeah, the first one who does us, that, yeah. we will send this to. Good idea. Yeah, but should we make them pay for shipping? Or if you live overseas, you got to pay for shipping. There you we're, go. not gonna, we're not going to pay for shipping. There you if, go. You're, if you're local, we'll, 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 we'll pay for shipping. Yeah. Okay. Sounds fair. Okay. Last thing. Let me clear out this space. Before. I'm really excited about that little LED light for the camera. Yeah, it's cool, huh? I mean, there's really a, cool. there are so many of these. Um, but this one is just so teeny and inexpensive. So. Yeah, it's Well, awesome. for us it was free. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm Affordable. excited about it. Okay, this is a camera.com. And this looks like it is a flip screen mirror. Is this a little pouch for it? Yeah. It's a little pouch for the flip screen mirror. This is actually the second one we I have. The other one is right there, Danae. It's sitting I on our. I love it. It's sitting on our XT3. Yeah. The XT3 doesn't have a flip screen, and so this gives you a little pop-up mirror. I have another one. I've posted this one before. This is by Maxotics, and I think it was an early prototype. 
um, and super super nice. But this one is is a metal version. Alum is aluminum. I'm not sure what. Yeah, it feels pretty heavy duty. And in fact, I'll take this camera and point to that with here. Let me so that you can see that you can see Danae in that other mirror with the XT3 there. So that's great because the X-T3 does not have a flip screen. So I've, I've enjoyed these. These are great, but the protective film, yeah, it's really difficult. So it's this side then. I forget the name. Yeah, you take that off. So I forget the name of the guy who does these. Um, they're super great, um, great product. But yeah, just make it easier to get that film off and that will make all the difference in the world. Other than that, I have absolutely no complaints. They're really cool. Be a pal and make these easier to take off. Well, that's it, Danae. What do you, how do you feel about the, pur the purchases and or things that have been to us this day? It's so exciting. That. I'm really excited about those prints. Yeah. I'd love to frame those and see those in this room, our photo room. And I'm really excited about the LED. And I'm also really excited about the LED light to go on top of the camera. And I'm excited to give away that Hand grip. How excited are you about the cameras that we purchased? <laughs> I'm sure we'll talk about that later. Well, anyway, that's all for now, guys. It was sure fun. <laughs> yeah, thanks for hanging out with us. Talk to you later.